I can't see it, if that helps. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. My guest today is Dr. Nikki Davis. She's one of the fabulous doctors at Plant-Based Telehealth that actually can do private consultations with you online, depending on where you live. Maybe she'll talk about what state she's licensed in. But today she's here as part of the Ultimate Weight Loss Bundle because she is one of the many amazing plant-based doctors that contributed to the bundle. And her offering is a weight loss webinar. I watched it. It was fabulous. And the minute you buy it, you can download it and watch it yourself. And she's also going to make one of the recipes from the bundle, their broccoli potato tots. Please welcome Dr. Nikki Davis. A, 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 a Jill of all trades. You can cook, you can <laughs> be a doctor. Right. Hi, AJ. It's so nice to see yeah. you. Thank you, you for a, having me on today. You're welcome. You could be a rocket scientist. You were a rocket scientist, but you could still be one if you wanted to. Right. Yeah. I, I, I guess I just, I get too bored just doing one thing. So I've just got to do everything, right? That's okay. <laughs> well, as long as you Although yeah. I'm not making rockets anymore, so... I've taken that off the resume. No uh, more rocket building. That's funny. But you're making potato <laughs> pots, which are a lot more delicious. Yes. Um, yeah. So uh, I am available on plant-based telehealth. And I just wanted to quickly say I'm licensed in Alabama, California, Colorado, Florida, Louisiana, Montana, Utah, Washington. And I'm also getting Arizona and Oregon very soon. So covering quite a few states now. Do you have to take a test every single state? No, but there is a lot. I mean, you have to pay every time. Sometimes they do have you go through and do some quizzes and some education. So it is quite a bit to keep up on multiple states. But Dr. Lori Marbus, who's one of the co-founders of Plant-Based Telehealth, she's got all 50 at DC. I don't know how she does it. I don't know how she keeps up on all 50. That, that's incredible. But but as a doctor, I've always wondered, most of my brothers are doctors, I suppose I could have asked them this. You do, after you take your boards and you pass, like it, you still at every now and then have to take them again, right? You do. Every 10 years, you have to take the grueling test. Yes. And you've got to do lots of continuing education. I mean, it's a good thing, right? We want our doctors to, to stay up on the current medicine. Uh, but but yeah, it is. It's It's quite a bit. Um, but AJ, I'm so excited because I, um, as you said, am one of the contributors to the Ultimate Weight Loss Bundle, and my contribution is a weight loss webinar. So this is something that I just created about a month ago. So it's brand new. It's only available in the bundle, but it's uh, really all of my experience, not only my own weight loss experience, but also the experience that I've had with my patients who have wanted to lose weight. I take all of that and look into all the research and put together a compiled comprehensive webinar on weight loss and how to have weight loss, you know, how, how to be successful, how to do it safely, kind of some tips and tricks. If you're somebody who maybe is already plant-based, but you hit a weight plateau, how to overcome that. So it's really kind of a nice general overview. Um, and it is something that you get a, a special passcode that you can use to log in on my website to watch it and you'll have access to it for about a year. So it was very good. Now here, here's the thing. You, you never told me that you were overweight. I, I was like, so, I know. I mean, I interviewed you for the first time for the truth about weight loss summit, which just happened. And you did a wonderful presentation about what is wrong with oil in general for health and weight loss. And you never said anything about your story. And then I don't know, I somehow like in the Facebook group, you post this picture. I'm like, she never mentioned that. <laughs> I know. Well, AJ, it's so funny because I never really even considered it as something that people would be interested in. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I, I found an old photograph of me in my 20s back when I guess I probably, I, I don't know what my BMI was at that time, but I probably was overweight. Um, definitely, I was 30 pounds heavier than I am now. So I have dropped weight. But honestly, it was such a progression of just changing my lifestyle and changing my diet that the weight just kind of came off, you know, just secondarily. It wasn't really something that I was like, okay, I'm going to weigh myself every week and I'm going to lose weight. It was just really making that lifestyle change that the weight just came off and it just came down to my ideal weight. So it's funny. I don't really even think of it as 
as this big accomplishment necessarily. But then when you look back and see what I've been through and just, you know, even just my face was just kind of puffy and you can really tell the difference in someone who's eating healthy versus not. Um, so, so yeah, it, it ended up being a weight loss story for me that I wasn't really even thinking about. Um, but today, so I'm going to make uh, a delicious recipe that's from the Potato Reset. And that is uh, an ebook that's available uh, from Janine Elder. And she has contributed this ebook ebook for the weight loss bundle. So it's great because this is an ebook that I've been wanting to get. I just haven't gotten it yet. And luckily for me, it's part of the weight loss bundle. So I get it in addition to the other 110 items that are in the weight loss bundle. Uh, but I, I am a self-professed potato lover. I know AJ, you are too. Uh, but that's where I was so excited about this part of the bundle because it's got just tons of potato recipes. And one of them that I, that really stood out to me that I was excited to make were these broccoli potato tots, not only because I know that my husband and I would both love them, but my son is nine years old. And I think that it's something that he would really love as well. Something he could easily have for school lunches something really easy to eat and, um, you know, really filling and delicious and has good nutrition in it. So that's what I'm going to make today. I can. So, because you're the one yeah. that told me about sumac and now everybody's eating sumac. I know. It's not funny. Well, and I can't take credit completely because it was really Kathy Fisher, who I met over at the True North Health Center. Uh, she's got the book Straight Up Food, the recipe book, and um, she's the one who initially told me about it. So I tried it and I just loved it. It's a nice tangy flavor without having to have the salt. Well, you know, it's so, funny. I know her and she never told me about it, but you know, it's interesting. I talked to Ann Esselson today and she ordered some sumac and I, you know, I, I order my spices from local spicery because they're non-arid, non I can't ever say that word, but they're very good and organic and small batches. And she said she got it from Amazon and it had salt in it. Do you think it's possible that some companies oh. put salt in their sumac? I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's possible if she told me, but I said, no, because it, isn't sumac just a berry, Dr. Davis? So it, it is. Should, it should be it's salt It's just free. a berry, right? It's just a berry that you can grind up and just little tiny pieces that you can sprinkle over food. The one that I have is, you know, the only ingredient is sumac, um, but I would not put it past someone to add some salt into sumac. So you do definitely want to still check uh, the ingredient list to make sure that they didn't add salt there. So I'm just going to let you know um, kind of what I'm doing here. And so that you know, this recipe is available in the potato reset book, which is in the bundle. Um, so I'll just kind of show you a little bit about what's what's in it. But ultimately, if you want to get that recipe, I would really recommend getting the bundle, you'll get that plus all of the other amazing things that are in the bundle. Um, but first of all, what I did was I started with uh, yellow potatoes. Now she put in there um, just regular baked potatoes that you have left over. I used what I had, which was just these big yellow potatoes. And I, I just do it really easy. So I have an instant pot and I throw my potatoes in there for 10 minutes on the manual setting. And I literally, I did that this morning while I was taking my son to school and they were ready to go when I came home. So she also puts in there uh, on her recipe to grate the potatoes, but I ended up just using a masher. Um, it's a little bit quicker, uh, pretty easy. So I'm just going to mash these up. And um, this, is, this is two potatoes. Now it calls for four large potatoes, um, but I did, I made half the recipe earlier so you guys can see the finished product. So just mash them up really easy. And then this is about a cup of broccoli. And I'm going to show you my trick with that too. Um, I didn't even use fresh broccoli. Uh, I just, I just bought this from Costco. They have these uh, bags that just have frozen broccoli in them and you just can microwave them. It takes about five minutes to microwave and you've got broccoli that's cooked and ready to go. Um, I'll use fresh broccoli too, but honestly, sometimes just with making it easier and, and simple and making this way of eating sustainable, sometimes that's what you got to do. So I'm just going to chop these up kind of finely so that when I mix it into the potatoes, um, you know, you, you'll have them in there, but they're not huge pieces. Because especially if this is something that you want to make for your kiddos, uh, you know, I mean, my son loves green stuff. Uh, he, he'll eat broccoli all day, every day. But some kids, you know, you need to kind of hide it a little bit in there. So getting these little pieces in there so they don't really know that they're getting all this good nutrition. I'm going to just chop that up. 
Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is just, and these are nice, AJ, do you have one of these? It's like, just scoops you know, up food. I do, it's, I, I forget what it's called, but it's, it's wonderful. It's like a scoopy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is either, but I use it constantly because then after you're done cutting, instead of having to use your fingers, you just scoop it right on and very easy. Um, so then I'm just going to mix my potatoes and my broccoli. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is add the spices. So uh, what she has in this recipe is really simple. It's just nutritional yeast, garlic powder, and black pepper. So very, very simple. And literally you just mix it up. So I'm just kind of show you what it looks like here. But yeah, it's just basically mashed potatoes with uh, broccoli and with the spices in there. It already smells so good. Yeah, our house, we love potatoes. So anything we can do to add potatoes into our meals, the better. And it's nice because you get a little bit of the green in there too, some of the cruciferous veggies with the broccoli. Okay, so very, very simple. So that's basically what it looks like once you got it all mixed together. And then it's really quite easy from here too. What you do is you just grab a scoop and then I'm just going to you know, kind of form it into almost like a little, it's like a little tater tot. So uh, if you're familiar with tater tots, you just basically put it into like a little shape like that. And then um, what I would do is take, so AJ, I do not have an oven. I haven't had an oven in probably two years, which is, is kind of interesting because I bake a lot. I bake a lot of veggies, I bake a lot of potatoes. Um, but our oven is really old and we haven't replaced it yet and it stopped working. But I do have a, uh, an air fryer uh, toaster oven, a Breville toaster oven. It's the big one. I think you have it too. I know. I was, the next thing I was going to ask you is, is that a Breville I spot? You know, I have double ovens and they were brand new when I moved into the house three years ago. And I think I used them once on Thanksgiving because the Breville is so great. It doesn't heat up the house. It preheats faster. And you know what, Dr. Davis, you know what my favorite thing yeah. about the Breville is, is even though ovens come with timers, like you have, it, like, let's say I'm baking something, which, and I'm on the show, I, I can't go and turn it off and turn the oven off with the Breville, the timer, it turns it off. It's like, it's like yes. the best thing ever. Yes. I, and I love it. And the other thing is, you know, if you get, I think it's the pro version, if you get that when it comes with the air fryer in it. And, and I mean, I don't know if you use air frying a lot, but we do it constantly in our house. We air fry all the time. It just makes things nice and crispy and delicious. All right. I don't know if you can see those, but we're basically just making all these little pots and oh my gosh, this makes so much. So I started out with, I think, four and a half potatoes and a, a cup of broccoli, maybe two cups of broccoli. And I've got this entire bowl full. And then this other bowl that I just made completely full. So I'm going to have tots for days, which is great. In fact, it's funny because my husband was asking me this morning, he said, what are you going to make on Chef AJ today? And I said, well, I'm making these potato tots. He's like, do we get to eat them when you're done? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm not going to give them away to the neighbors. Yeah, we're going to eat them. Of so um, they're delicious. <laughs> we, we had a nice uh, uh, it's comment from Stephanie that you are one of her favorite speakers in the summit and that she purchased the bundle oh. last night and is looking forward to the webinar. And when you're done with the recipe, maybe you talk a little bit about what the people will learn in the webinar. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And in fact, um, so once you make these, uh, you know, you pay, make as many as you want. I mean, this is probably going to make, I mean, easily 50 or more. Um, then you're going to stick it in the, your, you can put it in your oven, or I use, like I said, my toaster oven and she has on her recipe to set it at 450. Um, to me, stuff in my uh, toaster oven burns more easily up at 450. So I just did 425 and it worked great. Um, but 425 for 15 minutes and then halfway. And then after 15 minutes, you flip them over and then do another 15 minutes until they're nice and golden and crispy. So I'm gonna pull them out right now because I made some earlier and they are hot and they are ready to go. Um, oh my goodness, look how delicious these look, AJ. Oh my God. Don't those look they're amazing. So, they're, they're, they're crispy. Like, I wish oh. somebody would sell those. Um, oh my goodness. 
and you don't even need anything on them. Now you could, um, I'm not a huge ketchup fan, but if you, if you wanted to make your own ketchup, I know there are a, at least one or two recipes in the bundle for making your own ketchup. Um, so that's something that you could do is make something like that. Um, but I also like the Well Your World sauces. They've got some good ones in there. Um, there's a sweet heat one that would probably work really well with this. Um, but really, honestly, these are so good just as is. Um, but yeah, so if you were having a party, they'd be so fun as an appetizer. Well, yeah. And they're just like, yeah, it's just finger food, right? They're just so easy to grab and so delicious. Kids would um, love them too. Exactly. So it's such, such a good kid meal because it's just, you know, they just grab it and, and they have no idea that what they're eating is super, super healthy, right? That's, that's the key. Um, but yeah, so my weight loss webinar. So what, what you'll get from that webinar is um, I talk about my own weight loss story. So like I said, I, um, I lost about 30 pounds, but this was over several years because I ended up my transition from the standard American diet to a whole food plant-based diet free of oil took decades because I started out as a vegetarian. I started, I went vegetarian when I was 13, but stopped, started getting rid of more and more animal products over time. And, and then went vegan. But as you know, AJ being vegan does not automatically equal a healthy diet. You can eat really? vegan and eat all the, really? I, I didn't know that. <laughs> well, at least I didn't do that for like 30 years of my 45 right. years of veganism. I'm yeah. Joking, so, course. you know, well, yes. Um, but you know, cause they've got all those fake meats and fake cheeses. I mean, bakeries and you can, you can eat basically the standard American diet vegan now. Who are these people that can eat that? You know, like uh, one of the doctors in the know. middle said, oh, my patients don't want it because they're not interested in weight loss. And I'm thinking, who, who are you? Like, literally, I don't know anybody except for a few genetically blessed people like my husband and Dr. Doug Lyle that doesn't have a weight problem. So who are these people that are eating all these things and being healthy? And I, I, it's mind blowing. I'd love to meet them. Well, and ultimately, okay, if you're just talking about weight loss, you know, some people, they just, you know, for whatever reason, they just don't put on the weight when they eat that way. But we know that that does not equal health, right? Even if you look, your BMI is normal. It does not mean that you're not having internal damage from eating that way. And honestly, like just eating vegan, it's great for the planet. It's great for the animals. I support it fully. I was vegan first before I went whole food plant-based. But if you're looking to do it for health, you've got to get rid of all those processed vegan foods, definitely, because they're not doing you any good. Um, but, but yeah, so I talk about my, my own journey, which, like I said, was over decades, and, and then um, ultimately getting to where I went to a whole food plant-based diet free of oils and how that really made a big difference. Uh, and then I go through the very basics of weight loss on a plant-based diet. So we talk about what should your goal be? So how much weight should you lose at, you know, at what point are you going to get to your goal? How fast should you be losing weight? Um, you know, we talk about like the very basics of macronutrients, calorie density. Um, and then the other thing that I like to go over, because I have a lot of patients who are postmenopausal and just ha are struggling to lose weight, even though they've switched over to a mostly plant-based diet. And so I'll talk about, I talk about on that webinar, how to get through a weight plateau and kind of some things to kind of help jumpstart weight loss if you're really struggling. So just kind of some tips and tricks that I've, you know, obtained over the years of my own, my own experience. And then my experience now with patients losing weight. So it's a really comprehensive look into weight loss for someone who's either looking to transition to a whole food plant-based diet or somebody who's already plant-based and it's just struggling. And it kind of helps walk you through some of the things that I talk to my patients about who are struggling. So it's just a really nice look into weight loss for people who, you know, are, are looking to eat plant-based. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think one of the reasons that those little tots don't need sauces, because there's so many flavorful ingredients, it's not just broccoli, yes. you, know, you put in other things. Right. Yes, um, definitely. So that's, and, and, you know, I'm not a huge sauce person. I don't need to dip things. My husband, definitely. I, I can guarantee that when he eats these, he's going to be dipping them in something. Um, but I kind of like them just plain. Um, you know, I really like just the regular flavor. So I am really excited to make the rest of these because this, um, yeah, these are just, oh my gosh, they're so good. I'm having a hard time not just eating them while we talk. <laughs> Have you ever tried freezing them? 
So this is my first time making them. Um, so I think that they probably could freeze okay. And in fact, what I would do is I would freeze them and then I would probably use my air fryer to crisp them back up again because uh, it just basically takes out that moisture. Uh, so I think that that would be a fabulous idea, but I think that these could stay in the fridge for several days. So you could make, like I said, you make a bunch of them and then just put them, you know, into some uh, Tupperware or something for the week. And you've got snacks for the entire week. And honestly, this is the kind of thing that I would also even just eat for a meal. I would have no problem just having that for my meal um, because potatoes, right? Potatoes are amazing. No, that, that's <laughs> The most maligned food is the actually the best food for weight loss. It's 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 crazy. Yes, but um, I'm I'm super excited about this bundle, AJ. I have to say, I um, I am just thrilled that I get to have the bundle uh, because it has things like this that I've been wanting to get, just haven't gotten around to buying. Uh, you know, the other thing that I really like is um, you know I know you've had them on your show before, but Plentiful Kiki and High Carb Hannah, they both have. Uh, things in there. I think uh, Plantiful Kiki, I think has like a recipe book and then High Carb Hannah put in there um, like a meal planner guide, you know, so stuff like that, that I had wanted to, to purchase at some point, but didn't. And actually, you know, it's really nice now that it's all in the bundle. And I also saw in there that Dr. McDougall had submitted something for the bundle too, uh, his maximum weight loss program that I think is a new mini program for him. Is that right? Yes, it's great. I, I actually listened to most of it. It's a very great lecture by him, one on calorie density from Dr. Lim, one from Heather McDougall. So it's sort of like a mini course, but it's about three hours mm -hmm. of content. And you know, it sells for $97 on his website. So like for half the price, you get that plus another $4,700 worth of stuff. Yeah, that's great. I'm really excited to see that one because you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of Dr. McDougall. I uh, was really lucky that I got to intern with him while I was in medical school and uh, be part of one of his 10 day live in programs when he did those in person. Uh, and so to have one of his, you know, this new mini course that's worth more than the bundle itself, I'm really excited to, to watch those. I think those are going to be really nice to have. Absolutely. And all the batch cooking courses and Tammy Kramer's salad course. It's an, it's an yeah, the chopped salads. Yeah, at least I, it says, I just bought the bundle looking forward to going through it. And guys, yes, you can access it anytime once you download it. We don't limit how many times you can look at it, but we, we limit the downloads. Otherwise, you could just share it ad infinitum with everybody. So uh, that's why we do that. So people are saying maybe freeze the tots before you uh, before you air fry them and then air fry them. Oh, yeah. See, that's a that's a really, really good idea that they would be really easy to freeze. I mean, you know, they, they stay together really well. So they're not really too sticky. And I think that you could probably easily freeze these just as is. And then, um, yeah, and then they're all ready to go and you just pop them in. So I might actually do that with half of these, put them in the freezer and then I'll have them for later. Wow. That's amazing. That's am Do most of the people that see you through plant-based telehealth is, is weight loss one of their concerns often? I would say that that is, um, that is something that I see a lot. So I would say most people who I see are either someone who's plant-based who really doesn't have any major health concerns, but just really wants a supportive doctor to help them get their yearly labs done. Um, you know, it might be somebody who has to take a medication for some, you know, some health reason uh, that can't be reversed through lifestyle. Uh, and so it's nice because we can prescribe medications, we can send labs, so we can work as a regular doctor for some people. But I also see people who, for the most part, I would say weight loss is definitely one of them. Uh, diabetes is a big one for us. Uh, and then high blood pressure and high cholesterol. So those would be some of the, you know, and then cardiovascular disease as well. So people who've had heart attacks or are at risk of having um, heart attacks or strokes. That is most of what I see. But, you know, also we just see people, um, you know, like I'll say young people who are really struggling to stay with this way of eating and they're having issues because of their current diet that is unhealthy. They're, they might be having issues like with their gut, uh, you know, where they're having a lot of gut pain uh, when they're eating uh, and, or maybe they have rashes or, or things like that. Maybe some inflammation markers are elevated for some unknown reason. So working with um, some of these people too, to kind of figure out like, okay, um, let's see if we can improve these things as you transition to a plant-based diet. 
The other thing that I see a lot are people who are brand new to this way of eating, this way of living. And they really just need um, help kind of transitioning to this way of eating and then the help of the doctor to either help them get off medications um, or even if they're not on medications, just helping support them through that process of what they need to be successful in that transition. Because honestly, for me, you know, the transition, that's the hard part, right? Because it's not just putting something different on your plate. It's changing what you do with friends, what you eat with friends or traditions that you have maybe for holidays. It's, um, you know, the people that you hang out with and having to explain yourself. It really changes a lot of aspects in your life. And so what I've found is, you know, if you can, um, you know, kind of get that stuff in order, that's the hard part, you know, and then of course, figuring out what are your favorite meals, what can you use instead of what you're currently doing. And then once you get past that tough part, then it becomes more second nature. And I'm sure AJ, you feel the same way now that I've been doing this for so, so long. It's, it really isn't difficult for me anymore because I know my favorite meals. I make them all the time. Uh, you know, I, I know what I eat and I don't buy the stuff that I used to eat. And the other thing, I know you talk about this a lot too, is, is your environment. So making sure that those foods that are not health promoting that are in your house, you got to get rid of them. Uh, I, I've actually had some conversations with patients where they might not have a supportive spouse or a spouse who is not interested in eating this way. And we talk about, well, you are a very sick person and this is so important that it really, to be successful, it is so important to get that stuff out of the house. And if that's something, you know, if, if someone in your house can be supportive that way, even if they're not going to be eating that way, whether, and whatever that takes, right. It's got to be somewhere out of, out of sight, somewhere locked up so that you have no access to it. Because if you do have access to those foods, it's really difficult to not in the spur of the moment, you've had a long day to not just go back and grab those things. So keeping it out of your environment and then, you know, trying to find your supportive community helps you helps this way of eating be sustainable. Absolutely. I see a question from Carol. Can you rebuild muscle postmenopausal? Absolutely. You can rebuild muscle. Yes. Um, you know, if, if you're someone who has struggled with, um, you know, maintaining muscle mass, it, it is absolutely something, whether you are premenopausal, postmenopausal, that you can work to gain muscle. Absolutely. That's fantastic. What do you do for exercise, Dr. Davis? So my favorite thing to do is walk. Uh, so I, I have a weighted vest that I wear. Uh, it, you know, it helps me get a little bit more bang for my buck when I'm walking, but it also is something that's great for preventing osteoporosis. So I'll put on my little weighted vest. I think it's about six pounds. And, um, and I live in kind of the hills. And so I'll walk up and down the hills and um, that gets me some great exercise and it gets me outside. It's really great for my mental health. I just absolutely love walking. So that's number one. I also love yoga. So that's the other thing that I'll, I'll go to. Uh, walking and yoga are my two favorites. And then of course, in the winter time, we've been doing a lot of skiing and snowboarding. So I'm, my husband and I both snowboard and we've been trying to get up and do that as many weekends as we can. That sounds like fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, it's a great time. In fact, we got uh, my son into it. So he's, well, he's skiing, um, but he's, he's getting to where now he can keep up with us. So it's a lot of fun to go as a family and go up on the hill and bring him with us. If someone wants to know how they contact you, should I put the, I can be happy to add to the show notes in the chat, the link of how they get a consultation through plant-based telehealth. I can look at a previous uh, interaction we've had. Would that be good? Yeah. In fact, I, I think I sent you um, a list of ways to contact me for the show notes. So let me look uh, at, I mean, I basically yeah. what I did was cut and paste. So let's see if it, yeah. yes, you did. I, my Yay. apologies. So, so please okay. look at the show. A lot of people see what happens. Dr. Davis is people are watching because I, I, I stream this to Twitter and to Facebook. It's really a YouTube show. And when people don't watch on YouTube, they can't always see what's called the show notes, but if right. they go to YouTube and look under the video, you're right. It's right there. Book an appointment with Dr. Davis, buy the bundle from Dr. Davis, Dr. Davis's website. It's all right there. And I'll tell you too. So my website is pretty simple. It's just drnikidavis.com, D-R-N-I-K-I, 
D-A-V-I-S.com. Uh, you can book an appointment from there. There's a link that'll take you to plantbasedtelehealth.com, which is where you can book an appointment. So you can go to either of those. And then my social media handle is at Nikki Davis MD. Uh, and then, yeah, all, all the links should be there. So it's, uh, and, and on my website, not only do I have links to be able to go and book an appointment with me, but other things like upcoming events. So for instance, today, uh, you know, I had, uh, your show as an upcoming event. So if you ever want to know kind of what I'm up to and places where I'm going to be speaking or webinars that I'm going to be doing interviews that I'm going to be doing, those are all on there too. So you can keep up on that. And one of the other wonderful doctors, actually the founder of plant-based telehealth, Dr. Lori Marvis, she has an offering in the bundle as well. She does. That's right. And I want to say that it's uh, overcoming binge eating. Is that right? Well, it's about um, cravings and mind cravings. That's right. Yeah. But so we that, do have an overcoming really binge eating from Justina Fruis, who's going to be on the show at 10 o'clock tomorrow. So we have a little something. Oh, good. For everyone. Yes. And, you know, I was excited to see, uh, you know, I was talking about Kathy Fisher earlier because of the sumac and she's also in the bundle. So she's got a, a snacking guide that's in there. So that's a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, it just seems like so many of these people in the plant-based world have submitted for this bundle. I mean, there's, what is it, over 90 people that have contributed? Um, I believe over 90 contributors for 112 distinct offerings. Wow. It's almost too good to be true, isn't it? I know. And it's only available till tomorrow, right? And it's I think only the end of day tomorrow. Oh my God. And, and you know, I found out that you can actually make four payments on PayPal. So you can do it for like 12, Ooh. 25 for over four months. If, if that is a hardship for anyone, you know? Yeah. Well, and I, I just think this is something that if, you know, if I wasn't part of the bundle, I definitely would be buying because me it has too. so many things. I would buy that, I think it's worth. Yeah. I know, I know we're not going to charge 4,700, but it's worth at least, right. I mean, realistically, I would pay 197 for this. Cause it's, I mean, cause right. I've already dove into, I, I had it before a lot of people and I've already dove into the content and I've already got my money's worth just listening to the courses I have. Right. And it's fun too, because there are some things that are time sensitive that are going to be live. Like I know Dr. Neil Bernard is going to be doing a talk um, that's going to be coming up this month. March 24th, Victoria Moran. Next time we're not doing live though, because it's, it's, it's just too, yeah. too hard to explain to people. But, but yeah. the, for this time you are going to, and there's a, a three-part class with Victoria Moran, a three-hour workshop with Dr. Dress, Dressica, Jessica Crant. But I mean, I'm just so, I'm so humbled that people of the caliber, like all the medical doctors chose to join us. So thank you so much for doing that. Uh, well, I just see so much benefit in it that I, I could not not be a part of it because it really is. It's something that I think for anyone who's either going, going, wants to go whole food plant-based and wants those resources, I mean, this is a great way to start. And the other thing is if you're already plant-based, but you want some of these amazing recipes and eBooks and webinars that just further your education and further your ability to sustain this way of living, it's amazing. So I'm, I'm thrilled and I've gone through so many of these already. And I am just so excited about, especially these recipes. There's so many recipes, the Mason jar recipe, the chopped salad recipes and dressings, which I think being able to make a delicious dressing is huge because then it's so easy. Oh you just my take God. Really when you look at the food. sauce books then uh, Stacey Heine has a sauce book and Lisa Maris yes. has a dressings and dips book and the, a burger book. Yeah. Live sessions will be recorded from Jessica Krantz and Victoria Moran. I can't vouch for the Neil Barnard uh, one day event. Uh, so I, because I just can't, but the other ones yeah. will for sure. So, and, and well, Chef and Sans class. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, I think um, Dylan Holmes from Well Your World is also doing some live classes that you can sign up for too, right? right? Oh, some live cooking so classes. Much here. It's so much. And, and Sherry made it. I just saw a very nice comment from Sherry about the bundle, but I, now I'm not seeing it, but here is one from Delwyn. The bundle is fabulous. I'm so impressed. Terrific content. Thank you from New Zealand. You know, I just interviewed a doctor from New Zealand, Luke Wilson. Do you know him? He's in the movie Milt. So, oh no, I don't. Yeah. And, and I haven't seen that yet. Is that is that it's available now? Good. It's going to be available March 18th. And there's a platform. Okay. Oh, I had the producer on, I believe it was last Saturday. So great. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that one. But Luke Wilson, that's an actor's name too. So <laughs> exactly. I know it's a different one because here it is the comment. Yeah. I feel like a kid in the candy store when I scroll through the bundle. Absolutely. Yep. Well, Me great. too. 
actually. <laughs> well, you are coming back on. It just the bundle is a separate thing, but it turns out you're coming back on in just a few short weeks. I have you for Monday, the 28th of March. So I look forward yes. to seeing you again and maybe with your I son know. and maybe with another great recipe featuring sumac or something else. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, in fact, uh, I'm going to see if I can wrestle my son or my husband into joining me up for that one. We'll see. That will be great. And so guys, all the information you need below to buy the bundle from Dr. Davis or have a session with her is right there. And if you buy the bundle, you'll get her weight loss webinar. And it's a, it's a good one because I've already listened to it. Well, thanks so much, Dr. Davis. We'll see you in just a few short weeks back on the show. And I hope to see everybody here back at about uh, 90 minutes at 1 p.m. when we have another wonderful bundle contributor. She's the St. Louis veggie girl.